Okay, hey guys, today I want to do my, my um, fashion and makeup haul video for you today before uni gets pretty hectic and I won't have time to do it and um, I'll forget what I've bought. So I want to do this now before it gets too intense. So I'm going to start off with fashion items. If you want to skip to the makeup, I'll um, put the link down, down below to when it starts. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start with fashion because I think I'll grab my, my glasses for the makeup stuff just so I can show you guys swatches or something. Um, so I'll start off with um, Sports Girl. I only got one thing from Sports Girl recently and it, that is this um, sequin kind of um, metallic chain shirt. It's not chain shirt. It's like kind of reminds me of like the vests that knights wear, you know, like chain mail kind of vests. It's kind of like that, just because it's so heavy, like it's really, really heavy. So um, I quite like that because then I know that it's quite durable. And the back is scooped down pretty low and um, you can tie it at the back here. So this was originally 130 Australian dollars and I got it on sale for $50 and they were having like, like 50 no, what was it? Like 30% off, so it was like $30 or something. I don't even remember. It, it was like $35, so it was really quite inexpensive for what it is. Like, I saved $100 on the shirt alone. Um, and that's basically all I got from Sports Girl. Um, and then I'm going to show you a few things I got from, what is it? Cotton on Body. So I got this little bralette. It's leopard print. It's got the hooks at the front, which is cute. This would um, look really cute under like a see-through shirt or something so that you can wear like an interesting bra underneath to add a bit more texture or dimension to your outfit. Um, but like my problem is like the boobage part is actually see-through so I don't know um, if I if you wear a see-through shirt over it like I don't know I don't want to take risks so I might actually like do something about this like maybe sew in like a black material just so it's black around the boobs area. Um, so yeah, this was originally twenty dollars from Cotton On Body, and then it was on sale for five dollars, which was a steal. I got another bralette kind of corset thing, and I really want to wear this as like with like some high waisted shorts this summer. Um, it would look really cute because it's got like the ruffles here and um, you can detach the strap so that's cute. So you can see the boning and whatnot but it's not completely opaque and then it's got some dotted like dotted design here. It's just so cute and like a very romantic feeling. Um, again this was originally twenty five dollars and then I got it on sale for five dollars so I got these two for five dollars each which was awesome I had to pick that up sheer shawl um I think it's nightwear but I'm definitely gonna wear it as outerwear so um just to pop just to wear on top of um just plain outfit and I've worn it out already it looks really cute with a simple outfit and um it was originally $30 and um, it was on the sale rack but it didn't have like a sale price tag on it so um, I was like oh $30 I don't know because um, I was like strapped for cash that week but then I had an inkling that it might just not it might have just not been like processed through so I went to the counter and asked how much it was and it was five dollars so I was like I am definitely picking that up and it was the last one so really really happy with this purchase that's basically it from Cotton On Forever New and my boyfriend helped me buy this one um it's just it's um a, what is it a leotard and it's got a sweetheart neckline and some see-through sleeves here see-through dotted sleeves and the um, leotard is velvet so it's got a nice mix of texture because of the sheer and the velvet and it's really really cute like um, I wore this one time and I got a lot of compliments on it so and it was originally how much was this originally like like $80 or something ridiculous like that for revenue is so expensive but yeah this is $80 originally but then it went on sale for like 50 and 30% off that was like you know what is it $30 or something something like that um and yeah my boyfriend helped pay half of it which was awesome so he's so he was super nice for 
doing that for me. We went to Ali and I got this um, Batwing cardigan. It's just a knitted cardigan, so it's very lightweight. I can wear this for summer um, and it's not too hot. It's quite breezy and yeah, uh, I have this in like the light cream already and I love that except that it kind of got ruined when it was in the wash because it kind of like got stained so I was really upset about that. I really wanted the cream one again but I saw this black one and it was on sale for $5 so got that one even though I have so many black cardigans you know. Oh I want to show you this too. Um, this came free with my magazine, um, my clear magazine and it's just like a see-through um, stripy material and it's like from Bardo apparently but it's got no size and it just looks like that and it's like quite cute for like a free item for seven dollars um, so if you're interested I think it's the September issue so yeah that's what it looks like I think it's quite cute definitely wearing that now I'm just gonna move on to wait and the last couple of items I got um, for fashion wise like here in Australia are these sunnies. It's the round shape with the ombre kind of design and I got it from factory for like a dollar. So this was a dollar. It's just a black one. And then I got the same thing in the brown. Because this I think like you know with summer coming around everyone needs a pair of sunnies and like brown ones are really like in at the moment to go with the whole 70s vibe. And then I just got these for fun because they were like a dollar hello. So they just um love heart. So that's that. That was a dollar each from factory so that was really really good. And now the next couple of items are more from online stores. So I'll start off with what I'm wearing. This is just like a, um, a metallic knit. It just looks like that and it's quite baggy. I got it in a small. Um, they only had three sizes. They had small, medium and large. And this is from New Look, the website. Um, I went on that website initially to look for these. Um, um, you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys know who Beauty Crush is or um, Sammy from Beauty Crush and I saw these on her blog and I just fell in love with them and I was looking on ASOS for a pair of like leopard print ones but they were really expensive and so I thought, um, okay, you know, I'm going to give New Look a try and see if they ship internationally and whatnot and um, I found them and they were like 17 or 18 great British pounds, so um, that roughly translate to, translates to 30 or so Australian dollars, um, so I thought that was really good, uh, but then I had to, you know, obviously work out if shipping was worth it, and uh, if you spend over 45 pounds, you get free international shipping, so um, yeah, I got these um, for $35 or $30, um, and this one was... 25 no it was 30 pounds but then I had like a 10% or 15% off coupon like discount code at the time so this came down to um, 25 25 pounds which is around $40 40 Australian dollars and I think it's quite worth it just because um, I don't know I've never seen anything like this here and if like if I saw this selling in Sports Girl or some or like Forever New or something like that, I know that they would hike the price up to like hundred dollars. Like that, it's just ridiculous how how expensive they sell this stuff here for. It's really cute, and I've always wanted a metallic um, jumper. I'm really into metallics this spring and summer, so like more like more so silvers and golds rather than like that bronzy one. That's more of an autumn or like a full item in my opinion. Um, and the last item that I got from New Look is this Peter Pan collar, like a lace um, blouse and it buttons up the back. Really cute but really itchy, like it's kind of not very comfortable to wear but it does look cute on. Um, it's got cap sleeves which can be a bit annoying, I really don't like the cap sleeves. I actually would prefer if it was sleeveless so I might cut it, I don't know, not 100% sure on what to do with it yet and um, this was 20 pounds so I don't know how much $30 or something like that that's the three items I got I did have two other items that I wanted and um, there was this leather pair of shorts they were faux leather obviously um, 
but they didn't have it in stock and I was so upset because you know I paid for it and everything and then they decided oh by the way we don't have it in stock so here's your money back but um and the other item wasn't there anymore either so um I was really upset about that because I hate it don't you hate it on online stores where you like buy everything you're all excited and they just let you know oh by the way we don't have that in stock anymore it's like why was it on the website then sorry guys I just had like coffee so I'm a bit hyper and then the last thing I got was from ASOS um it's just a pair of shoes and it's these maroons now I'm not sure about them yet they're like this they're kind of um cut out design um, they look really cute on the website and in person, but um, when you wear them, they're not that adorable. So I'm not 100% sure on it yet. This was around $30. It was originally $50 Australian dollars. And you know, with ASOS, it's free shipping. So that's the good thing. I don't know. I don't know about these ones. Um, and that's it for fashion haul. I'm just going to move on to um, my makeup haul. I've got everything here. Um, I might put my glasses on, actually. Excuse me if you guys don't like, like me wearing glasses, but um, I do want to show you up close. So I'm just going to move closer so you guys can see. So I'm sure if you guys watched my um, faves video, you saw my um, model's own haul. So I got six um, nail polishes. I got um, pink fuzz, or fizz, sorry, pink fizz. This looks like that. Um, and then I got Silver Fox and it's just silver glitters. Gold Finger which is gold glitter. I got Concrete Mixer which is like a pastel grey green. It's really nice. I like that one. And then I got Lilac Dream. Yep. Which is like a pastel purple. And then the last one is champagne, which I'm wearing right now. I love this color. I kind of wish I got the um, sterling silver one too. This is like more of a shimmer. I don't even know. Like this is more shimmer, and these are more glitter. So that's my uh, model's own haul. Um, and then I got some items which I bought online. This I bought like on eBay ages ago. Um, there's a seller on eBay who. I usually buy like my Revlon Colorstay um, makeup from just because we don't have golden caramel here and um, he usually sells other items for really cheap too and shipping took a while this time around. I usually, it usually takes like two to three weeks or something but this time it took around more than a month so that's why um, I would have shown you guys earlier but yeah. Um, so I got golden caramel which is my go to foundation. I haven't been using this lately though just because I've got other foundations to experiment with. Um, I also got the Revlon Photo Ready in Golden Beige. And I got the Revlon Color Stay. Um, this is the Revlon Color Stay Press, Ooh. Press Powder in Medium Deep. This looks like that. And then I got two of the Photo Ready powders, just because they're really expensive here in Australia. Um, and I was buying from him anyways. I bought two of these. He was selling them for ten dollars, and you know, here in Australia they sell for like forty. So I was like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna buy it off him. So I got two of those because I love these powders so much. This is the first powder that I've ever hit pan on, and I hit pan pretty bad. Got two Cover Girl mascaras which is my go-to mascara I love these these are my holy grail mascaras obviously as you can see I bought two of the items that I really really love I actually bought two of these too <laughs> just because um yeah shipping was cheaper that way um so that's all from eBay um and then I got this from shops which is the um Maybelline Fit Me foundation in 230 natural buff so that's my color 230 natural buff the milani liquify eyeliners i showed you this again in my favorites i might do swatches for you just because i don't think i switched it for you last time so this is the black so really dark really creamy this is the gold 
that's the black, that's the gold, that's the brown, this is silver, that's silver right there, and this is aqua. So gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Again, the aqua and the gold are perfect for summer. And I have been wearing those two colours constantly this month. So I got these website from Nonpareil Boutique for seven dollars each. That's quite um, reasonably priced, and I they were having like twenty five percent off their makeup items also. So I got them for like five or six set six dollars or something like that from Nonpareil Boutique, and that's where I usually get all my like Wet n Wild Elf and whatnot. They usually have pretty good prices there, and it's um pretty good shipping. And then I also got the NYX eyeshadow base. I have it in the skin tone and I thought I'd just get the white one just for more um, colourful looks. I'll switch that for you I guess. But it's um, basically like your NYX pencil in white. But I like it in more of a pot form. The last thing I got was this e.l.f. eyelid primer. I have the sheer one. This one's the one in gold and um, it's alright. It's not amazing that's what it looks like there it's alright I mean it kind of blends out pretty sheer anyways so so yeah I don't know it's okay um so yeah that's basically my haul haul <laughs> um anyway that's all of um my haul um that's what I've gotten in the past couple of months um yeah hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in my next one and excuse the hair it's just kind of freshly washed and a lot of people are asking if I changed anything it's honestly just the lighting it's just really dark actually I did do something to it last night I put Turner in and it just kind of darkened it and made it a little bit purple so not a good idea I don't know it depends I might lighten it up again for summer anyways we'll see we'll see I just um, absolutely fry my hair with all this ombre -ing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in my next one. Oh, and do you like my earrings? It's from what is it called? Um, oh, Regal Rose. I love that name. So cute. Regal Rose, and it's just the snake snake earring. Yeah, really cute. Um, and I did film a getting ready video for today, so. Again, hopefully they'll be up before this video or after this video. Depends on what's easier to edit, I guess. But yeah, stay tuned for that if it's not up already. And yeah, if you guys, if you like this video, thumbs it up, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.